What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be checking out two 60% metal mechanical keyboards, putting them head to head to see which is best for you in the battle of the mechs. In one hand we have the newer Ducky Mecha Mini, as well as the brand new Durgod Venus. So not picking a winner exactly, but just going over the features of each, how they edge each other out, to see which is going to be best for you. If you want to check them out, I'll have them both listed for you in the description down below. So why did I pick these two, for example? Well, like I just mentioned, they are pretty much brand new. And second, 60% keyboards has become the rage over the past year or so. Mainly due to people like Tfue and other streamers, you know, liking these smaller compact keyboards. So first, just checking them out. Inside the box of the Durgod Venus, we have the keyboard, obviously, and two cables, a USB-C to USB-C and a regular USB-C cable. You get a keycap puller and a coaster. Mouse pad for ants. As for the Ducky Mecha Mini, we have the USB-C cable, a keycap puller again, and then two sets of additional keycaps with a Year of the Pig spacebar and this Halloween themed spacebar, plus a set of accented keycaps in blue. Then just in terms of visuals, at first glance, they don't look too different from each other. They're both made of aluminum, so they're going to feel solid and have some weight to it for its compact size. After all, this is Battle of the Metal Mechs. With some minor design differences to each. The Ducky Mecha Mini follows that same look from the original 1-2 Mini we saw, with these kind of standout ledges on the front and backside. I think it provides a more flattering look, while the Venus has that more intentional angle design to the sides, but a small bezel at the top which houses these three small LEDs for things like caps locks and profile switching. In terms of other physical features, the Venus does not have flip out feet underneath, the Mecha Mini does however, and it provides that extra, you know, backside height. And unlike most flip out feet on keyboards, these have a very satisfying locking mechanism, so they're not going to accidentally flip back in if you move your keyboard or something while using it. Check this out. That's good stuff. And while we're underneath the keyboard, the Ducky does feature built-in dip switches for things like changing your N key rollover, function key positioning for Mac users and window keys disabling, that kind of stuff. And lastly, since they're both USB-C keyboards, highly recommend picking up a custom cable by the way, they are positioned rather differently. They're both located on the left side, but the Mecha Mini has the plug flush with the board, while the Venus has it kind of set into the board a bit more. But after testing around five different cables of mine, they all fit with no problems, so you should be fine unless you're using some sort of bulky mofo. So while it may seem right now Ducky has the edge in terms of visuals and physical features, it's about the whole typing experience that counts and what's happening underneath these keys. This is where it gets interesting. In my Mecha Mini, I have Cherry Reds, and then I have Gateron Silent Browns in the Venus, with numerous switch options available at all different prices for both. The Venus gives us way more options than Ducky though, including Cherry, Gateron, and Kale switches, with even Box Jades available. That is extremely rare to see. The Mini does limit us to just Cherry, providing the usual suspects and Silent Reds available for a $5 surplus. But it's not just the switch options that matter here, because I'm really impressed with what Venus does to go that extra mile for users. First, the stabilizers here are actually factory lubed. That means the staves won't sound as harsh and like a plastic rattle when typing you see on other keyboards. This is not something you see from most mass produced keyboards here, so this is really cool. And then Durgod actually has a built in dampening pad to absorb the resonance when typing. It may be, you know, like a minor difference in the end, but the foam insert to me is a huge plus. Now I'm not going to do a traditional sound test like I usually do in keyboard videos since I have two different switches in each of the keyboards. However, I want you to pay very close attention to the resonance when you're typing on both these keyboards and how the that dampening foam does a lot of good things for the Venus. And I'll also do a sound test of the stabilizer so you can hear the difference between the lubed and the unlubed.
So if you had headphones on, you probably very easy to tell the difference in that resonance that you get from the, the spring sound in the ducky keyboard and just the outstanding job that that foam insert does and the loop stabilizers from the Venus. Really impressed. Now bringing it back around to some other visual features of the board, let's talk RGB, the actual keycaps, and all the stuff that goes along with that. Both the Mecha Mini and the Venus are going to be using double shot shine through PBT keycaps with this nice and clean non-gamer looking font, which is a big thumbs up. And the Ducky's actually using an OEM Cherry profile here, which is pretty standard, versus the Venus, which has a shorter profile. It's not the biggest difference, and if you didn't know that there was a profile difference when using them, you probably wouldn't be able to tell, honestly. The Mecha Mini has a white plastic backplate underneath the keys for a nice bright LED reflection, and the Venus plate seems to be this silver aluminum plate as well to complement the aluminum body of the board. This too is gonna reflect the RGB lights brightly because it's actually metal. So both are kind of neck and neck there, but Ducky claims to be using a new motherboard and SMD RGB lights. And I'll say it's probably 10% brighter than the Venus maybe. It's honestly not too noticeable. And if you're looking at the footage, you're probably not gonna be able to tell a difference between the brightnesses. Both have built-in RGB lighting effects. I'm not gonna go through every single of the effects here because that would just be wasting our time. But the next point could be either a pro or con for some people, depending on how you feel. Everything in the Ducky Mecha Mini is done on board. From configuring the lights, profiles, and macros, there is no software here. And like I said, you could either be happy to not have to download another program onto your PC, or you could be bummed out that you don't have this quick and easy way to configure everything. The Venus also does have their built-in effects on the board that can be changed according to what profile you're on, and that's changed by that second function key instead of the right Windows key there. But you do have software with their Hera compiler. Here you can change the lights, creating macros, reassigning keys, layers, profiles, all that stuff. The software is so-so, I'd say it's not the cleanest I've seen, but far, far from the worst. So it's funny how similar they are at first glance, and then it just goes a completely different direction for each board. And like I said earlier, I'm not gonna be picking a winner because people are going to value different points and features of these keyboards differently, depending on what they're looking for in their keyboard. However, for me, I will say this. In terms of actual build and design, I'll take Ducky. As for the internals, I'm talking switch, switch options, the plate, stabilizer, dampening foam, Venus all the way. RGB is a tie, I'd say, because they're both bright with saturated colors and smooth transitions to the effects. But Venus does have the software, so it's easier to configure. And then when it comes to the included accessories and stuff with the extra keycap sets, that gets the nod from me to Ducky. So depending on the features you value and the things you're looking for in your keyboard, you can't go wrong with either one. That's why I picked these two, because they're outstanding. There are definitely two of the best options right now on the market if you're not looking to, you know, get into creating your own and that whole community. If you want to just buy a keyboard that you can then customize, take it a step further, these two, I think, are outstanding. And guys, I'll wrap it up for my video of the Battle of the Metal Mechs. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, if you want to check them out, I'll have them both listed for you in the description down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on all social at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.